Have you ever wondered what mechanisms were put in place to rebuild the United States after the Civil War? How did the nation grapple with the issue of former Confederates returning to positions of power? Today, we delve into the heart of the 14th Amendment, Section 3, also known as the Disqualification Clause. The year was 1868, three years after the end of the Civil War. The United States was in the throes of Reconstruction, a period characterized by the transformation of the Southern states and the integration of freedmen into society. Amid this upheaval, the 14th Amendment was adopted, and Section 3 emerged as a tool to navigate the complex terrain of post-war politics. Section 3 of the 14th Amendment is a seemingly simple sentence, yet it carries profound implications. It states that no person shall be a senator, representative, or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States, who having previously sworn an oath to support the Constitution, engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same. This was aimed squarely at the former Confederates who had once held positions of power. This disqualification clause wasn't merely punitive, it was a measure to protect the fragile peace that had been achieved. By preventing those who had rebelled against the Union from holding public office, it aimed to safeguard the nation against a resurgence of secessionist sentiment. However, the disqualification clause was not without controversy. It sparked intense debates about forgiveness, the nature of loyalty, and the balance of power in the newly reunited nation. Over time, Congress would issue individual pardons, slowly allowing former Confederates back into the political fold, a process that reflected the country's struggle towards reconciliation. In essence, the Disqualification Clause was a crucial piece in the complex puzzle of Reconstruction. It represented an attempt to redefine loyalty and allegiance in a nation torn apart by civil war, and it continues to echo in American politics today. To summarize, the Disqualification Clause of the 14th Amendment was a seminal component of post-Civil War Reconstruction, aimed at prohibiting former Confederates from holding public office. Its adoption marked a significant shift in the nation's approach to loyalty and allegiance, and its legacy continues to resonate in the American political landscape. Thank you for joining this exploration of the Disqualification Clause. This journey through history has given us a greater understanding of the 14th Amendment and its role in shaping post-Civil War America. Stay tuned for more insightful dives into the fascinating world of history.